All right, so I'm making food from Barbados today, you know, because I'm making a dish from every single country in the world, and I'm going in alphabetical order, and right now I'm in B. In the Caribbean with some Bajan cuisine today, it's macaroni pie. It's so popular in Barbados that they call it, they just call it pie. This thing is everywhere. You can find it at fish fries and street vendors and restaurants. It's like a side dish to go along with other things as well because I originally wanted to make their national dish, which was flying fish. But I don't know where the hell to find flying fish where I am right now. So I'm just gonna make mac pie. I love macaroni, I love pie. So I'm gonna make a, um, it's like a casserole. Now the goal is to be as authentic as possible. So I've gone to the Barbados website to find this recipe. So, you know, it's straight from the source. The Bajan version is made with macaroni tubes rather than elbow macaroni, however. This is elbow macaroni. <laughs> Time out. Macaroni and their tubes. I couldn't find it at any of the stores until uh, the very last one I checked which was supposed to be the very first one that I checked. But I didn't think I had enough time to go there first. So I went to another store, then I went to another store, and then I went to my first pick last. Anyway, found it. Salt the hell out of some water and bring it to a boil. So I need around half of this box tubed macaroni. That should be half a pound. You always use a little more for good luck. Break macaroni tubes into thirds. Cook it uncovered until it is tender, but still kind of firm, like al dente, I think is what they're going for. I don't want these to stick together, so I'm gonna keep them moving. Tender and firm, it took like four minutes. I don't wanna overdo it. I don't wanna overcook this stuff. It was really hot, so I just kind of rinsed it with some cold water. So I need some cheddar cheese grated up. one small grated onion into the bowl with the macaroni. Add four cups of grated cheddar cheese. This is exactly what the recipe says. It says add everything together. One cup of evaporated milk, whatever the hell that is. I mean, yeah, I do know what it is. It's evaporated milk, okay? There's one tablespoon of mustard. One third cup of ketchup. Salt and pepper to taste. That's pepper. This is salt. Marjoram and thyme can also be added. Well, here's a little pinch of marjoram. And since I have thyme in the fridge, as well, oh, this stuff is dry. Pinch of that as well. Okay, and one egg. And leave no stone unturned here. Everything gets mixed together because I don't want like a big bite of mustard or something. Okay, check that out. Lightly grease up this casserole dish. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You got my attention. This is a perfect fit. I should have kept some of that freshly grated cheese to like sprinkle on top, but I used it all. So I have this cheese blend that I should have, I should not be using this right now, but because I don't have any freshly grated cheddar cheese left. It has cheddar cheese in it, but it has other cheeses. Uh, I just, I'm such a tool that I should, I'm such a tool. So the oven's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna bake this for 30 to 40 minutes. For the final few minutes in the oven, I got the broiler on. And uh, you know, I want the top of this mac pie to be a nice golden brown. So I'm just gonna have it hang out like that. I'm actually quite comfortable. <sighs> Order up. Magnificent. I mean, yeah, I mean, how can you? Oh yeah, I'm all about this. Mm. You know, is it the greatest thing that you've ever had in your entire life? Well, yeah, it's an oddball ingredient, I find, to have mustard in a mac and cheese dish, but uh, it's working. I like it. It's like, it's different. It's a different type of mac and cheese than I'm generally used to.
Mm. Mm. That's dangerous. That was Bayesian macaroni pie, or pie. I loved it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another country that starts with letter B. Shout out to these guys over here, my Patreon supporters who are supporting the show in a big way. And if you're curious about what's going on over there, there's a link in the description. That's everything I have. I'll see you later. Bye.